Sean. Hey, William. Cypress's Hovig has released his Eurovision 2017 song, Gravity. Gravity. Is it taking flight? Let's discuss. <laughs> Let's do this! to say I was pleasantly surprised by this. I think that he's bringing a different flavor to the contest. Some people have said the flavor is very familiar. In the introduction of the song, you have some syncopated clapping, a deep electro beat, which sounds like Rag and Bone Man's Human. But you know what? Not everyone at Eurovision who votes will have heard Rag and Bone Man's Human, so I'm okay with the similarity. The song itself, to me, sounds contemporary, on trend, it's catchy, it's a little dark and mysterious. I guess, long story short, I like that this sounds like nothing else in the contest, because for a while I was getting worried this year was all going to be the same, but this is bringing variety, and for that, I applaud them. Can I just say, the contest isn't over yet. We still have a good yes. number of songs that we haven't heard, so can we just add yet? to what you yes. just said. <laughs> the other thing to note, William, is yes, I agree, it's on trend, but it's also a boring copy. And I think Eurovision as a platform does not deserve to have copies of established pop songs. When you say copy, does that mean from start to finish or just the beginning? It goes beyond being inspired by it. It is, it is fairly identical. If the vocals mm. hadn't kicked in and you were just given an instrumental to listen to, you would think, oh, that's Rag and Bone Man's Human. Yeah. The other thing is, padding it out with lyrics such as, I'm gonna raise you up to, till you touch the sky, let me be your remedy. It's, I'm sorry, it's a, it's a very low barometer. Of you know what? I, I don't really mind the lyrics. I think the idea of him being the gravity for his lover, you know, giving her security, keeping her down to earth, giving her safety, I think that actually works as a metaphor. I mean, the fact is most Eurovision fans don't listen to lyrics, let's be real, and there are songs with far worse lyrics that have won Eurovision. You know, look, I don't mind this. But I just this. don't think, I, I mean, really, I'm sorry, here... I don't get the hate, is what I'm trying to say, not from you, but there's a lot of vicious comments on the internet, and I think that goes a bit far. I understand your reservations, completely. Yeah. Because there is a familiarity, and my cat is trying to knock down the, the camera. Barnaby, honey, thanks, sweetie. Barnaby needs to move. Well, I can't let him out right now, because the bill drives open the front door. So uh... Yes, I get that. Eurovision fans may not look at lyrics in great detail. It's no excuse for submitting shoddy lyrics. I don't think this is a shoddy song. I don't think the lyrics are that shoddy. I under Do I think this is the winner? No. Do I think that this is actually a step in the right direction for Cyprus? Yes. It continues the trend of last year, working with Jason, sending quality songs that many people will like. The fact is, this is way better than John Carianis from a few years ago. This is way better than the woman swinging the This is not as good as Minus Swan's alter ego from I last agree with year. That. And let I me tell you that. another thing. All this, do I think this will win? No. Composers and musicians should go into the contest to win, not to qualify. Oh, I think he went in with the intention to win. I just don't think this is going to win. Uh, Can I say something else? The music video, there's some things about it I love. I love the sleek finish. I love the idea. It's him very on, polished. Yeah, him on the horizon of a celestial body, the production, the woman dancing, the two halves, that all works. My issue is how they've styled him. I feel like they're making him less like he is. I think he, when he did Stone in a River, he was hoving and it worked. I think they're trying to make him into some kind of, not supermodel version, but you know, some trendy version of who he is, when he should just really be who he is, because I don't think he's a natural dancer. I just, I don't. And I think that on stage they should probably limit his movement, so that it doesn't seem so awkward. Oh, I'm just over it. I, you know, even when I make, draw comparisons with Gravity, Zlatas, Ognovich's Gravity, which do I prefer? Do I prefer Hovig? I mean, they're two completely <laughs> different songs, but with the same song title. And people do draw comparisons with Shine, different Shines of different years. I prefer Zlata Ognovich. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate the song. There's nothing bad about it. I actually think it's a good song, but it's boring. It's really boring. I quite like the bridge, yeah, actually. The, the, like, the deep boom. boom. Well, yeah, the mysterious. bridge is good, and just post-bridge is even better, and then it swims back to the chorus, which is just such a letdown. This could be so much better. Do you think this has a shot of making the final? 
Well, not all the songs are out, and it's not nowhere near the top of my list, so for me, it's borderline at best. I think this could definitely qualify. I think oftentimes we know if a song is just not going to qualify, <laughs> and this is not in that category. I think this is definitely has a shot to qualify. I think Cypress has ambition, and they're trying really hard, and this continues a good trend. It's not the number one. But it's also not near my bottom either, and I don't get the hate that is out there. I am wishing Hovick and Cypress so much luck. And I think the other thing is, it's just two issues with hate. You know, there's a song out, Rag and Bone Man's Human, which is very similar in nature, very similar in tone. And I think chronology doesn't help because that came out way before this is coming out and it sounds too identical. And Thomas Jason has a track record of being accused of borrowing from other songs. Just Google it. Yeah, but some of his songs he has improved on what he's borrowed from. The other issue with this is that Hovig was one of the first announced en um, entrants for Eurovision, so this is a really prolonged tease. With that comes higher expectations. So to come out with this gravity, is somewhat lackluster. Mm, I think for Cyprus this is a good entry. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you loving Cyprus' song? Do you think there's potential here for him to make the final? Do you think that it sounds too familiar? Let us know here on Weebly Blogs. Show off those comments in the Weebly Blogs app, which you can download on Google. Oh, sorry, you can download on iOS and Android. Why am I so Google obsessed? Also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Pinterest, Tumblr, Facebook, YouTube. Oh my gosh, and you have to see my cat. He's been here the whole time. Barnaby, say hi. Why is he not wearing his say W hi. dumbbell? He, it's too uh, hot today. He doesn't want to have the W on it. Mm. Do you like Cypress? Oh, that's a yes. We'll see you later. Bye!